<laughs> Creatures of habit, eh? There is a fly in this room. I don't know what it's surviving on. Fresh air. Hopefully not my food. It's in the fridge. Right, said Fred. <laughs> the latest news is the woman for whom I bought the motor car, quite frank, I think she shall be nameless as well in all the circumstances. contacted me yesterday and tells me that, again, uh, I won't even say the nationality of the other neighbour for fear of being uh, misconstrued, has bobbed off. So the two women who got me here, one's contacted me and the other one's bogged off. And I'm left out in the cold. Brilliant. <laughs> what am I meant to make of all that? It's a puzzlement. Well, I intend to get on top of circumstances, my little circumstances. I'm booked in here, I'm paid up for a week. So I've got a nice little safe place. <laughs> Which in other circumstances would be all fine. And let's say I'd genuinely gone off to explore Northumbria a bit. And I said, oh, well, what would Sunderland like then? I'll go down and see Sunderland. Well, I've been up to Coldstream for a week, I think, five days or whatever it was. It's the north end of the parish, my parish. And I'm in the south end, well, Durham, in fact, for St Cuthbert. <laughs> She's all friendly again, the neighbour, the Scottish neighbour. Oh! An identifying adjectival a pronoun. <laughs> the one who told me to bog off. Then I used the rude words about the other one. <laughs> I mean, you really would think that the courts had, had better things to do with their time. I don't hate people from Poland, for heaven's sake. I don't hate anyone, actually. Quite the reverse. The whole point is that there's two commandments. Love God, love your neighbour as yourself. Whoever they may be, I keep banging on about it. But that is at the base of everything that I am. Love. No one's, sorry, I never said I'm a perfect Christian. That's the whole point. It's a day-by-day -day journey, step-by-step. Step. I wish I were a seagull. <laughs> I just... Go off. When I got tired, I'd sit in the sea and paddle my little paws, put my head on my back. Then I'd think, oh, time for lunch. I'd dive into the sea and catch a fish. Oh, that was tasty. And I'd fly about a bit just to, because I can. 
I'd sit in the wind. Anyway, I've got David for company, so there we are. <laughs>